Hi everyone, Linda Israel here, and I've got the latest stamp set of Brutus Monroe stamps. These are some dog stamps with a cute dog house. And I've got other Brutus Monroe products, and I'm going to create a greeting card for you today. The first thing I did was pull out these stamps and ink them up. I think it'll be cute to have a dog house on the front of this card so I'm inking it up with the black raven ink from Brutus Monroe I want to also stamp the dog And I had in my stash this block of stamps that has different shapes. And I thought this could be a sun. And I want to stamp that in the upper right corner, upper left corner. So I'm going to use the premium chalk ink in suede. I thought that would be a good sun color. I want to stamp this up and maybe a little bit off the page. So, before I started the video, I stamped all of these images on some scrap paper and then I cut them out and using some Zig 2A glue, I put that across the back and now this is like a sticky note. It's a little bit sticky. See, it's sticking to my finger and it'll be a mask and what I'll do is I'll put this over my stamped image. I'll do the same with the dog because I want to make a background but I wanted it to appear that the images were all planned part of the stamping. I also took a piece of paper and decided what I wanted to be what I thought maybe like grass and sky I'm going to use the sidewalk chalk ink and a blending tool. Ink this up and starting on my mask, let's do some sky. I'm going to use a little bit of the Sea Shimmer Spray, a chalk spray from Brutus Monroe, just to give a little bit of color on my card, top portion. I'm going to peel the grass section off, so now it's got a distinct grass line. And use what's supposed to be my sky section and use the Brutus Monroe premium chalk ink in the Jurassic color and do the same technique on the bottom. I also have a little stamp. I'm going to use a little bit of the shimmer mist from Tattered Angels on the bottom. Now I'm peeling off the masks. I'm going to save this mask because I can use it again. I store mine on my stamp sheets or in a notebook or wherever you want to keep them so I don't have to keep cutting them over and over again. Now I'm ready to give some color to my stamp images or grass. I'm going to use a watercolor pencil and color him in just a little bit.
I want to see how little Brutus looks with some copper penny in his coloring. So instead of using just straight water, I'm going to use the copper penny liquid elements. So I'm going to spray just a little bit of that, protect my work in a paint tray. I've added just a little bit of water. Got a paintbrush. Even though there's a little bit of white here in his eye, I want to make that a little more prominent. So I'm just using a little bit of white acrylic craft paint. I think this little happy birthday stamp would be cute in the corner, so I'm going to put that on here. And I can't forget Brutus's little collar, so I have the little collar here. And if I work it just right, and I have some acrylic craft paint and silver. I'm gonna see if I can't paint the studs of his collar. I've got a card that's already pre-cut and folded that I'm going to put this on. I'm going to use my ATG gun to ad put adhesive on the back. And there is my card using the new Brutus Monroe dog set that has the dog, a dog house, the dog collar, it has bones, it has balls, it has two dogs in fact, but I thought today that's the design I wanted to use. I hope you like this card using the Brutus Monroe products. Please go visit their website and check out all of these items as well as follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You can also follow me on my own website, lindaisrael.com. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, as well as share and comment. I love responding to your comments. If you have questions, or if you want to know a little bit more about me or the products that I'm using here today, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching this video today and create your own ending.